Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on using toggles with Material UI. In this video, we'll cover three types of toggles, checkboxes, switches, and radio buttons. For each toggle, we can choose to create either one with a label or with an icon. We'll quickly create a version of each. If we enter play mode, we'll see that each toggle comes with the default material design animations and ripples. For each of these toggles, we can toggle the toggle enabled parameter to enable or disable the object. Next, we'll see how to control the text or an icon shown, depending on whether the control is toggled or not. For a toggle with a label, you'll see two options, toggle on label and toggle off label. We can specify whatever we want here. We can directly see what the toggles look like when enabled by pressing is on. For toggles with an icon, you'll see toggle on icon and toggle off icon. Of course, you can decide not to use this and just uncheck the toggle graphic option. We can also control the animation duration, which is 0.5 seconds by default. Next, we'll see a list of colors that we have control over. We can change all of them to customize the toggles look to what we want. Let's quickly color the checkboxes and switches. For each of them, we'll use the default material design palettes. Finally, if you click on a radio button element, you'll see that some parameters are disabled in the inspector. This is because they are controlled by the radio group parent game object. You can define the animation duration and color of all the radio group children directly from here, or uncheck the is controlling children toggle and specify different parameters for each radio button. Well, that's it for the tutorial on toggles. Be sure to check out the toggles example scene to play with them for yourself. See you soon for the next tutorial.